morning fourth grade. This is for NTI day number 13. This is reading. Dig deeper how to analyze the text. Use these pages to learn about comparing and contrasting fact and opinion and author's word choice. Then you're gonna read the mosaic, Owen and Mosaic again to apply what you know. So you're gonna to have to do a Venn diagram in a few minutes between Owen and Mosaic. Compare and contrast. The authors of Owen and Mosaic thought carefully about how to organize information about two very different animals. Throughout the selection, the authors compare and contrast the hippo and the tortoise, telling how the two animals are alike and how they're different. The photographs in the selection also show similarities and differences between the two animals. Look back on page 721. How did Owen and Mize react differently in their first meeting? Okay, so you are going to use this Venn diagram on Owen and Mize. So my suggestion is you're going to put Owen in the first blank. And then Mize. Sorry for my handwriting there. And you're going to tell how they are different. I want you to give at least um, at least two ways, if not three, of how they're different. And at least two ways, if not three, you can do three, but if I want at least two of how they're alike. Think of a title for your diagram. What would be a good title for this Venn diagram? Okay, compare, go back. Um, you have your paper copy from NTI day number 12, I think. It's in number 12, or you can go back and listen and look because I, when I read you the story, I had um, the textbook, so the pictures are color, so that might help you even more. So you're going to complete the Venn diagram. Then you're going to work on the crossword that's on the next page. Okay, vocabulary words. They are intruder, chief, charged, companion, bound, inseparable, affection, enclosed, exhausted, and suffered. Okay, you don't have your addiction, you don't have your glossary, so you can look these up online. I did read them to you, so you can go back and refer to the video. Um, number three, going across, says move forward quickly. Choose which word might go in that blank, to move forward quickly. I'm going to give you a clue. I'll help you with that one. That word would be charged. So you would write charged. Charged in the boxes. I would mark it out. That way I know I used it. And then I would put a little dash here. That way I know I answered number three. Okay. Number six says, not able to be taken apart. Not able to be taken apart. Choose a word from the vocabulary box. Number eight, an area that is closed off. An area that is closed off. All of these words are going across in the crossword right now. Number nine, close relationship. Close relationship. Number 10, 
someone who got into a place where he or she does not belong. Someone who got into a place where he or she does not belong. Num numbers one, two, four, five, and seven are going down. Number one, felt pain. So that would be suffered. Suffered, and then I'm going to mark it out down here. Felt pain. Number two going down. Someone who goes with someone else. Someone who goes with someone else. Number four, friendly feeling. Friendly feeling. Number five, most important, most important. Number seven, very tired, very tired. That is your reading for today, your reading for today.